All right. Uh, yes, my people, welcome, welcome. Welcome to my show, Timo Starboy Reality Talk TV. Yeah. No, you are welcome. I greet you, I greet you all at your time zone. Yeah, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. And for those people already sleeping, good night. Yeah. So, welcome to our platform. Uh, we share uh, today's uh, update on the news on uh, election that is uh, the saga, the saga of uh, Nigeria election. You know, it's obviously now that uh, you know it's clear and uh, it's, it's clear now that it is INEC, INEC chairman that is holding up. You know, they are holding up. Uh, they are making a lot of trouble because uh, the after the ruling of uh, the tribunal court that uh, they should be inspecting the devices that is a uh, beaver and now INEC is making a lot of series of trouble you know they are putting more trouble on this matter i don't know what are they going to gain from that what is their gain if not they, they, they don't have a skeleton in their cupboard why can't they allow them to uh, inspect the the beaver you know to know what what what's up, what, what is going on there but uh, it seems that they are the one holding up. They are the one making a lot of uh, trouble in this uh, uh, scenario. So I will give you some video uh, that we gathered today. So let me play it for you and uh, we move from there. Okay. Yes, the video. The top notch and state house of assembly elections to March 18. This is happening very two days to the exercise. The postponement was due to the commission's inability to properly commence reconfiguration of the bar. Sorry. State elections. INEC was earlier restrained from tampering with information embedded in the Beavers machines until due is. Let me start from the beginning. Just in case. You know, they have postponed the election until next week. That is uh, March 18, 2023. But I, INEC is like uh, it's a stunning block. They don't want the uh, Labour Party and uh, PDP to inspect the, uh, what is inside the, the, the beaver, you know. Because they have uh, the, the court of ruling. I don't know why they are still sitting, you know, they are, they are making a lot of trouble. You know, on this case, has, you know, it's like uh, they, they have uh, too much uh, on their head. And if they are not coming clean, we will not have any, any respect for them and we will not believe them. Unless they come and clean, you know, they, 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 they open up for us. Because we are the indigenous, we are the citizens, we are asking them a lot of questions of which they, they, they refuse to, to answer us. They thought that we are a fool. And now everything is about to explode now, you know, about to come to, to the faces of uh, the people. So they are now covering up. And we don't know what is going on with them, you know. We don't know what is going on with, with their, in, in their premises. Maybe they want to do some, uh, you know, some arumoje. That is a clean up as they, are, they used to be, you know. So they are the ones seizing the... the, the the, the whole this thing that matter up now. They don't want anybody to inspect. And they, because of this ruling from the tribunal, that okay, you can go on and do your uh, uh, your uh, uh, figure, uh, maybe your, 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 uh, to clean up uh, whatever you want to clean up in that uh, uh, beaver. You know, they are giving the, this thing. So, in, in case of this, in case of this uh, ruling, and they still postpone the gubernatorial election to March 18. You will see that there is something is going, something is fishing. You know, something is fishing in their uh, in their behaviors. So this is what we want to figure out. What is going on? Why are they delaying? Why are they blocking these people to inspect the, the, the beaver in the first place? So Maybe they should need to go back to the court, you know, as, as me, I was thinking, to have a, a straining order on the, this uh, INEC uh, people, because they, it seems that they are very stubborn. 
You know, they are very stubborn and nasty. Very difficult to deal with. And we want to know the result, what is going on, you know. We are asking them a lot of questions. And they refuse to answer. So maybe we should put it on the internet. And uh, people we should all over the world will hear what is going on, what is cooking, you know. That is what we are. Uh, we, are, we, are, we are announcing now, you know. So anyway, let's continue the hearing the today's uh, news, today's update. The Independent National Electoral Commission has postponed the governorship and state house of assembly elections to March 18. This is happening barely two days to the exercise. The postponement was due to the commission's inability to properly commence reconfiguration of the Bahamuda voters' accreditation system machines utilized during the February 25th presidential elections to enable their use in the state elections. INEC was earlier restrained from tampering with information embedded in the Beavers machines until due inspection was conducted and certified true copies uh, issued to candidates who are challenging the outcome of the presidential election. At the time of filing this report, Efforts to get the reactions of Mr. Professor Sokoye, spokesperson of the commission, proved abortive as his phones remain unreachable. Femi Akonde is our senior correspondent. He joins me live from Abuja to talk more around this. Femi, uh, a lot of preparations, of course, for Top Gear. Uh, what is happening? What do you think is responsible uh, for this? Or what are you hearing? Yes, yeah, so it's better safe than sorry. I think that's what um, the Independent National Electoral Commission is considering as we speak now. You know that um, just today they got the judgment that there are few courts allowing them to uh, to um, format the uh, modal voter accreditation um, device that was used for the presidential election because they were taken to court by the Labour Party. Uh, the Labour Party took them to court. Uh, wanted the court to stop them from uh, reconfiguring this uh, device. And I like is saying that they would have to configure the device so that they'll be able to uh, carry out the governorship election. Yeah. That judgment just came today, uh, just about um, 48 hours to the conduct of the governorship elections. And it's not enough time, that is not enough time for INEC to uh, reconfigure this um, device. So that is why I believe INEC is taking that uh, decision to move the, the shift to the date of election. But you know, so this is the thought time in three successive general elections that I work with the uh, postpone or shifting the date of election. You recall in 2015, INEC had to shift the date of election due to insecurity. In 2019, they did the same thing. The election of February 16th was moved to uh, uh, February 23 uh, because of um, planning and logistic issues. And this time, because of um, uh, 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 the time to uh, configure the but that that's the previous machine. And it has again shifted uh, the date for the governorship election. But well, you know, there has been so much issue looking at the presidential election and all of the um, dust it generated. I like to say this time they would like to get it um, right. They do not want uh, so much uh, 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 controversy as was generated in the presidential election because the, the chairman of the electoral commission is saying that this time the commission has been able to dust their eyes and cross right. um, their teeth. So uh, whatever it takes, like for INEC, it is what is worth doing, is worth doing well. So no. Great stuff. Thank you so much, uh, my colleague Femi Akonde. When we're ready, uh, whatever happens, uh, we'll be there as journalists to cover the elections. Thank you so much, my colleague Dale. Yeah, so as the, the, the case is going on now, you know, it's uh, like I said before, INEC is the, uh, is the stocking head. You know, they are stuck in head now. So they don't want the case to be going on as smoothly as it is supposed to be. So now we are having an issue, you know, because we, we cannot relent. We cannot relent. We cannot say we will sit back and look at uh, the, old, the old drama will be, you know, it will be fluctuating, you know. We want answer. We want answer to our question. So let me give you this, uh, uh, this, this one is uh, from Politics uh, Today. It's a news, that is uh, update news. So hear from them. What is going on here? Yeah. 
you know, what the national chairman of the Labour Party, okay. Comrade Julius Abura, said today. He says they passed a vote of no confidence on the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. Mr. Abura at a press conference today in Abuja says his party no longer has confidence in INEC. They yeah. listen to him. Let's, like, like what's me, I don't have any confidence in them. Even though they are all liars. assured us and the courts in their affidavits, yeah. the counter affidavits, to say that the records in the beavers will be saved in their back end server. We have our doubts because this is not the first time I never will be telling us that they have server they will upload to their server, and so on and so forth. Uh -huh. But um, the courts, in their wisdom, have uh, given that uh, have given them that privilege. And you could see that immediately they got that uh, judgment. They shifted the election. So if they knew they were going to postpone the governorship election for a week, why did they go to court to go and vary the? Sorry. This one is a. Uh... Sorry. The, the okay. order. There was absolutely no need, no need for it because one of the reasons they gave to the court was that if. They allow us to inspect beavers. It will definitely have Please comment. I think the the side the side is very the national chairman of the Labour Party, Mr. Julius okay. Aburan. We'll be discussing in detail what uh, the postponement means. In fact, we analyze the beavers device. How long will it take, for example, to be able to upload? I mean, based on the explanation of INEC and all of the issues that have been thrown up, um, INEC says it has a back-end server, and now that will be preserved, a lot of issues. We'll be dissecting all of these uh, for you tonight. And don't forget, we have one of the leading candidates in Abia State who will be speaking to us about his ambition uh, for the number uh, uh, the seat in Abia State. So stay with me, everyone, because we need to check uh, around the, st uh, the country for your political roundup stories. And my colleague, Kela Megua, is standing by to bring us up to speed. Kela. Uh, typified. So it's, uh, it's now been designed and configured for polling units. So um, if it's the same polling units that uh, you use the device for in the first election and you're using it for the second election, some people are asking, why are you configurable? INEC knows better. But this is another tricky part which we need your expertise on. Um, you know the magnitude of work that went into the IRF portal. Basically, all the over 176,000 polling unit results were to be uploaded. And let's assume uh, there is a certain amount of the space that every resource sheet would take. So you can understand the magnitude of what the IR reporter should do. But somehow, something happened to the IR reporter on election day. The pathway to the IR reporter became a failure. It didn't work at planned. Give us a scenario of what could have happened. That I reporter failed Nigeria, failed Ireland. What could have gone wrong, Benga? Uh, so um, I, I think this is this is where we need to separate technology from project management. The first thing that went wrong on February was project management related, not technology related. That's the reason why I mean, for now we have. 165,143 1, 65, uh, results that have been uploaded versus 176,846. There are, you know, polling units where elections in old, there are, you know, polling units where elections, you know, were cancelled and things like that, which of course doesn't mean they shouldn't upload what, you know, what happened there. Uh, but on February 25, first of all, a lot of the people who were supposed to upload this result 
with excuses. In my own polling unit, for example, the official, I mean, the INEC representative said that they didn't have data, and people provided data for them, and this happened in many places. So, one is the project management failure of backup data. Now, this is assuming there was no deliberate attempt not to upload the data. The second is that there was a conversation about offline mode, which anybody who uses any cloud, you know, uh, will understand that if you're working on a spreadsheet online and your internet access goes off, you can still continue working. Exactly. You can still type, you can still do anything you want to do as long as the device does not go off before you get restored access, even if it you know, hibernates and you can open it up again, once you connect, that data will continue to be transmitted and will be updated on the cloud. So we had a data challenge, and the second was the fact that clearly there wasn't, I don't think there was enough training for so, people who were... So, so, so Gwenga, apologies if I may provide some bit of a scenario uh, to that, maybe in just 30 seconds you can help out. What we understand and what we try to find out, and uh, hopefully, Aina can unmute itself and come forward and come clean to Nigerians and explain yeah. what exactly went wrong. Come clean. Uh, is the fact that there was a That's what we are asking. Portal, which they everybody come had clean. access to. That, in some way, failed. And perhaps there was another pathway uh, that was designed, which, were, in fact, slowed down. And that was one of the reasons. I mean, the question I ask is, could there be a reason where that water and the pathway was compromised internally or el and other, any other side. You are the expert here, such that they had to resort to an alternative, which took a long time. I think I took almost evening before we started seeing some results coming in. Obviously, it's very yeah. slow. I do not want to, you know, add to any conspiracy theory here, but technically, it is possible that there was a, there was a compromise yeah. that there was a you know, violation of the integrity of the server uh, and someone had access to it, that's, that's possible. But we wouldn't know until INEC provides a lot more information or the technology team in INEC. Secondly, we don't know that, and this is, this is what I've seen from the way the platform performed on the day of the elections versus the day after the elections and two days after. And I was monitoring this. And what I saw was that INEC clearly did not anticipate the amount of stress that will come on the server if 176,846 polling units are uploading at the same time. I don't know if this simulation was done. I don't know if there was a budget constraint because what typically happens at times is you know you need to pay for a particular bandwidth, you need to, you need to pay for a particular size, and then you look at us and you say, well, we may not have more than 30% and you pay for less. And it was clear, very clear to me, and I'm saying this and I can defend it anywhere, that on the day of the elections, there was a lot of activity going on on the INEC website, such that even the INEC website, INEC.gov.ng and INEC.org, kept going on and off. And you could tell, I mean, anyone who works with WordPress could tell that this is a scenario where there is so much stress on this platform that wasn't prepared for and wasn't elastic enough. So it is very possible that that right. also happened. Right. Right. And it's also possible that there was a compromise or a deliberate attempt from inside INEC. But those will be theoretic analysis for now. All right. Thank you so much, Benga, uh, for those insights there. I might be, I know you have uh, your press for time and you need to go. So thank you so much for your time. I might have to drag you virtually back at some point because these issues need to be tracked. We need to move forward. Our election also is somewhat uh, a progress for our democracy. Uh, consistent election now. Uh, we saved in their back end server. We have our doubts because this this is not the first time I may be telling us that they have server they will upload to their server and so on and so forth. But um, the courts, in their wisdom, have um, given that uh, have given them that privilege, and you could see that immediately they got that uh, judgment yesterday. They shifted the election, so if they knew they were going to if they knew the all along, they should have the people. Week, why did it's they like they are deceiving people. Very, they are not the, going straight. The order. Mm -hmm. there, there was absolutely no need, no need for it because one of the reasons they gave to the court was that if 
they allow us to inspect beavers, yeah. it will definitely affect the timelines for the election. But surprisingly, after winning, after getting that, uh, after getting the court, oh, that court. to uh, to grant them court. that request yeah. to configure the beavers, you saw that they immediately shifted the election. So one has a lot of doubts. That is a drama about the truthfulness. It's about obvious the, and so glary uh, that Ibis are playing. They are playing full the game. About the behavior, they are full of uh, drama. About the integrity of Ibis. Yeah. To do we cannot believe them again. So that is that, my, my people. That is that. So another um, topic I want to talk about uh, this evening is uh, about uh, you know this uh, so-called uh, slavery master. You know, slavery master. Because this slavery things you haven't gone out completely. They might say they uh, they put uh, the abolish uh, uh, abo abolish uh, uh, trade master, you know, that maybe it's not it's, it's already uh, eradicated, you know. But in the mind of some all these white people, these uh, Westerner people, they are still practicing it in the sense that. They are still govern on African people. Let me put it in Africa generally. They are still holding our neck. They are still uh, putting rope on our neck. They never leave us. I mean, these uh, colonial uh, slave masters. They are still in generating in Africa. Unless we say enough is enough. Unless we 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 the, the rope that they they use to tie our neck. We should off it by ourselves. If you don't do that, the slave trade is still it will still continue, and it will never end. It will never end. You know, they say they have uh, eradicated the whole system, but it's still generating our in our midst up to today. Because if you check ourselves, if you see even from our district, you know our. In our, in our district, in our country, you will still have some Oibo name, you know, on the maybe uh, some street they will say about Macaulay, uh, Saint, uh, uh, Saint Thomas. These are the Oibo name. We should we should try to take it out. If you don't take it out by ourselves, that slave master will still ring in our system. We will still be colonized by spirit, by you know some kind of power. Unless we flush it out, because this is what is happening. This is what is affecting our in our daily basis. You know, it's affecting us, and those people that they generated from it, like all these our bad leaders, they are still continued in that aspect of the uh, that uh, behaviors. You know, they are still colonizing their people. They are still selling their people to all these white people. That is why you can see America. You know, is is accepting this kind of a uh, uh, fraudulent, the most fraudulent uh, election in Nigeria, in Nigeria history. They are saying, ah, so it's a uh, it's a free and fair. Even likewise, uh, England, they are supporting all this kind of uh, atrocity because they, what they are what they are gaining, the plantation, is still continue for them, is still growing in their in their feed. So they will never say any good things. Only bad side they will be going. Anybody that is behaving like a like an animal, they will be hailing them. But if you are behaving like a somebody that is you know wise, that you, you know what you are doing, they will hate you. They will not do with you. They know that you are very smart people. But anybody that is behaving like an animal that is confused, that is what this that is the side they will they will they will try to choose. So we need to open our eyes, let's shine our face. All this uh uh, 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 impunities, you know, it should be go, it should be off, you know, we should take it out from our life because that system is still generating that we, we are still behaving like we are still in the, in the, under the duress of a, a slave trade, you know, so it's, it's supposed not to happen, it's only we, we can do it because any any outsider, any foreigner that is 
putting their nose in our affair, we should tell them, go away, go and mind your own business. Because your country is enough for you. Don't put your, any, any your ideology, you know, any your stupid idea in our, 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 our uh, topic. If you don't try to reject them, to reject, to reject their, uh, their, their ideas, you know, it will be continue affecting us. I know what I'm talking about because these they are so called uh, slave master. They are put it. They are. They, it's like they just invent it in our in our jail. You know, it's working with us. So we need to put all this thing away. We need to let it go. You know. They say they abolish it, but it's still it's still generating. They never abolish anything. That is still in our system. You know, it's still in our brain, our mindset. You can see some people, they will be doing Rakade Day for, you know, whereby you, you have your own brain to make it up, to, to, to be somebody in life. But you can never, re, you, you will relate on somebody. You know, you rely on them. Say, oh, uh, they are the uh, billionaire. They are, as, as if you, you, you don't have a chance to be a billionaire. You know? So all this is a form of a slave trade. If you don't let it out in our in our society, it will continue to be generating, just like a virus, you know. It will be going around and around, you know. So it is we that we have the power to remove it, to eliminate everything, you know. So I will give you the video. It's a uh, 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 one of fellas' uh, son. That is a uh, Kuti. So to back the what I'm saying, because I just saw the video and I know it's very interesting. So I need to share it with you people so that you will use it for your own knowledge too. You know. I will play very interesting. Okay. Here is the Okay, this one is a, let me put it, this one is for, sorry. Subscribe to Face TV Africa. Africa, Africa, Face, Face TV. People you worship, Listen. that tell you to forget your problem. For three and a half years, them and their students, their boys, Will be playing pangolo for you, distracting you, telling you, hey, you go think of a problem all the time, you go crazy if you think of your problem. Forget your problem. You see, you forget your problem for three and a half years, six months for election, you now want to carry your problem on your head. Thinking you can solve anything with one year, year voting of the same people that are just there to continue this rubbish. I love the, I love this guy so much because he's splitting the, the truth, you know, just splitting every truth out of the, <laughs> his mouth, you know. So I love him. I was one of your fans, you know. So continue doing it. Just throw them the sto snow. This, this, the stone of the snow, just throw it to their head, you know, so that their head will correct. You know, all these uh, politicians, this bad ass, you know, just throw them any stone you, you carry along with you. They will hear. They will hear well. So continue, uh, my guy. You want to vote for somebody to continue so, the rubbish? So the best person to continue the rubbish. They are looking for the best person to complete the rubbish. How many of you are, how many of them are really telling you what is happening? That they are not in control. That they cannot develop you. People are telling you in this country that they have billions of dollars. Be, you know what billions of dollars is? People don't understand these numbers. I keep telling you, your brain. Our brain as human beings, not just your brain. Our brain as human beings have not evolved to understand this concept of these big numbers. I'm telling you. Because people don't understand when somebody says, I have one billion dollars. One, Nikonio, you, you don't understand what that one billion means. Just tell them, tell them all. Tell them. One billion. They don't understand. Tell them. Eh? What's going on? Okay. I always give this example to help people understand. 
One million seconds. It's eleven. One days, million man. seconds is eleven days. Yeah. Sorry. One billion seconds is thirty-eight point five years. Mm. That is the it. difference between million and billion. I repeat, one million seconds is eleven days. One billion seconds is thirty-eight point five years. <laughs> Somebody that says I have one billion dollars can be throwing one one dollar like this for thirty-eight years non-stop before it will finish. Somebody with a billion can be doing one dollar like this every second for thirty-eight years <laughs> before it will finish. Is this car you want to buy? Okay, Rolls Royce. How much is one Rolls Royce? Three hundred and fifty thousand dollars, four hundred thousand. You buy hundred Rolls Royce. Buy hundred. That's forty million dollars. Please listen, guys. Listen to this analysis. You know it's very important. You will see how this uh, this politician they are roping you up. You know, you know they are just teaching you. They are anything. They they. They squander you. It is your life. They are they are squeezing like a uh, like, like a uh, orange, uh, you know, and throw you into garbage after they use it. Finish. That's how they they dump you. They will after they squeeze you. They link all those juice, you know, to their mouth and throw you to the garbage. So that is it's a waste product. So listen, listen carefully. This guy is teaching you a lot of things that you don't know. So. Let's go on. You still have 960 million. Huh. You want house everywhere in the world. One, one million dollar house in all the major cities. So that's one million times maybe 200 major cities in the world. Uh, 200 million dollar. Uh -huh. You still have 760 million. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> I want to buy my clothes, man. Uh -huh. Clothes, man. Latest every... In fact, Gucci. Louis. All of Balenciaga. Balenciaga. But this way they make, so they take, <laughs> make una bring the touch. Yeah. They only say for the culture. That's actually the best part. We are doing it for the culture. Bendy. And all the symbols are white. I don't even know. I don't know the video of Balenciaga. Balenciaga. No, no. Na, Balenciaga. Na Italian, Italian product. I don't know. Na Italian know. product. But anyway, so you have Na Italian million. Balenciaga. You give Gucci that. Bendy. You just keep it Coach. in your company. Be sending me the latest. You still have what? Six hundred and sixty million dollars. Abi. So we have amongst us certain black people, so-called Nigerians. They tell you that they are Nigerians like you, with billions of not one billion dollar, billions of Billi dollar. Billions. They did not earn it all. See. They got it. By selling they stole our it. natural resources. They stole, they our stole, they stole, they stole. All these people with these billions in Nigeria, none of them have it without a license. They have no Even Dan Gote, they are stealing all of them. Dan Gote. Sorry, Jai. To do this business, it means you are selling things that belong to the people. Whether that's a license or a All of them, they will be thieves. Whether an oil license, so you are selling our oil. Whether an agricultural license, so you are using our land to grow food. That Listen. We Listen to the Most story. Most of them are using that land to grow cash crops that Dan we cannot even eat. In a country o, where food is so expensive, uh, yeah, yeah, do do Most of the land are you? apparently uh, to no go, between sixty-five uh, and seventy percent of the arable all of them, land that is used to grow cash crops. Abu Bakr. Cash crops. That means food you and I cannot eat. But we both need ah. for their industry. So tell me how colonialism has changed. It never tell changed. Tell me how anything That's has changed. That's what I'm saying. The colonialism, colonialism never changed. So we both left. They left, but all their plantations and their mines are still ah, intact. Amo, Ahmed. How did they leave? And they are still Thanks doing the same things that Welcome used to, to do colonialism. Please it's share, like those share. Those cash crops are now suddenly turned to food. We are learning here. So we are learning a lesson. I can eat. I can be healthy. Yeah. No, it is used to still fund. Um, to still run European colonialism countries. never finished so now, in Africa. Amongst us, there are people they are still colonizing us. Billions that they have made from us. <laughs> I repeat, these are not big gates. 
These are not the Bill Gates. So you say, you say, okay, without Bill Gates, there is yeah. no Microsoft. Because uh. you can't tell me that without Dangote, nobody will sell me cement. <laughs> there must be somebody to sell me cement. Yeah, exactly. Nobody will grow food and spaghetti. Yeah, yeah. I'm out, I'm Just share, share, that. share. I like. This is not a Steve Jobs. That without him, there's no. Uh, yeah, welcome platform. to the platform. This is not what they do. They sell our oil, they sell our. The thing that belong to us, that if anybody sell out, you will become billionaire. And they, when they were going to do these things, when they were selling it to us, it's only under this Obasan job. Yes, yes. That Obasan job. So wicked. And I, you know, yeah, in Nigeria that praises Obasan job for any reason, you will go to hell. <laughs> you must go to hell. Yes, you, are, have, you have so that you are beyond salvation. They are very wicked you, people. Whatever Obasan job does in this country, and you support him, you have shown that you are against Africa. You don't respect Africa, yes, and the atrocities and whatever kind of atrocity that Africans have gone through bears have no bearing in your emotions as long as your own interests are served. You are an oppressor. Oppressor, Anybody all of them. For anything, all of them, they'll be oppressor. He is an oppressor. Yes. Uh -uh. Nobody can tell me anything. You, like mean, you, myself, good. you have no regard for any atrocity that we have gone through yeah. as African people. You are there to serve your selfish interests. They are evils. You are there to serve your when Obasanjo was going to give these people all our property in 2001, ah. there is nothing this man did not promise us. In fact, you are telling us that Nigeria would be better than Dubai. What of our uh, operation Feed the Nation? He seized the land and he turned it to himself. Obasanjo, the man is a rogue. He's a bigoted rogue. He's a thief. You know? And he will suffer for it before you go. In 10 years. If they took all our property. Gullible people. Run this country. They took everything. They cannot build this country. They never remember the diplomacies. All these elites. These, these stupid. Thief elite. Which of your candidates discuss with you redistribution of wealth? When we say so redistribution pity. of wealth, we are not saying we want to see, see the last money or Dangote's money or Illumelu's money. They are not there. They are thieves. No. They are thieves. We mean we are going to use laws. Hmm? Yeah. Real African laws to channel their profits exactly. towards the building of your schools, exactly. the building of your hospitals, That's the it. building of your roads, mm. the modernization of your industries and your technologies to bring you to full competition with the world that is with a world that is competing against you. Mm. Do you know that the world is competing against us even if we are not competing against them? But this is your elite, they only want me their children. Only their children get rights. Their family to get too. Competition. Yeah. You are your own children. Your only right is to help their children to carry the bag while they are going to the competition. Uh -huh. Finish. Like I remember. We are telling you that you have a right. Like uh, Alimajiri. Go for that competition. They like Alimajiri style. Because of your own fear of freedom. You could say she owned the smoking book. I'm happy that that's all you can say about me. <laughs> but you did. That's all you can say. You did she correct, man. You, you are correct. Who be your dealer today? Wait till you spoke today. Ah, we say quit we do. And you've been saying this for over 15 years. I have not stopped. In fact, today I wear but first which shirt. Doesn't that tell you you should stop? That it doesn't work. It doesn't, you're not going to change anything. I will continue to pepper your eye. Pepper them. And smoke it. Pepper them. Pepper them. <laughs> Make it pepper them. Continue. Yeah, they enjoy you. I'm enjoying your show. Pepper them. They are all. Stupid and rogues. They are hooligans. You know? All these hooligans. We have them here as a as a headers. They are not adding anything. Those uh, what can I say? Agbe so Agbe yeah. headers. You all have been betrayed huh? by your rulers and their and your elites. All of them are betrayers. Yes. All of them are betrayers, and they look at you like charity case. You are a charity case. Uh -huh. You are not part of them. You are charity to them. That's the best they have for you. You know, and all these your celebs and influencers uh, and that, motivational speakers. I just want they are they worse. want you to see the charity of these people. They are very kind worse. Of blessing, not insult. The worst the brothers and sisters, ever. Their charity is an insult to you in this to community your children, and to the atrocities that your ancestors have gone through fake life for them to take all around them of fake us, life after what we have gone through as a people look at what we have so far in our lives as african people there's some african people now have the opportunity to at least restore some dignity to our lives yes instead of that they rather drive rolls royce and uh, 
fly a private jet yeah. and go and rent yacht of Oyuboma for three million euro. I said that, <laughs> that is a, that is success. <laughs> That is success. They are showing at the age of the sixty bed that which year bed day. It's my success story. That I've ex extracted and exploited my people for over three decades. They are a bunch of fools. To rent for one person's yacht <laughs> and do bed day party for all of you to see that. Uh, hey, uh, hey, look at what I've achieved. Uh -huh. <laughs> You are Mugus. A lot of you are posting and sharing and praising. I think, I think when they do that today, when they, they do that, they, they need to they are you know, get class. And every people show them that you are fools. Please yeah, subscribe to Face Africa. Okay. Let's listen to this one again. Stay tuned. There's more movie. <laughs> More movie here. Let's enjoy. Sorry. Uh. They say, all the things why they tell you now, no man. If uh, una elite tell you those things, both you buy elite, Hausa, Fulani, BBOFP, any of these, una big men that they always worship. When they buy, use una blood, buy motor for their children. Una say, we'll go online. As the pastor children that you are, <laughs> now we go online. We did a swear for our own parents. Hey, we my bad day. Where this one? They do this one. Where my bad day? Where this? <laughs> you know. So I'm not surprised if they tell you now the truth. Then you will suddenly maybe you will lose all this respect. No, you know, they say ah, they will go and all these men. They will go and hang. Who they be now? So now be people caretaker. I know be even organ. Maybe now I go open, but they don't tell you now. Then they write us too much. Oh. They don't feel tell you now that one. They don't tell you now that one. Now understand? So now me must tell you now. So all this now lie, 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 lie. She will do this one. I tell you all this now. She will... Yes, see me. I know I'm ghetto fabulous, bro. My papa, you see fella? My papa, he lived in his father's house till he was about 40. Now born, they born the mama house. That house, that fella house, where they shout. They born fella house, they born fella house. Not be fella house. Now fella mama get the house. <laughs> fella don't be the first house. At first, our only house. See, about 1980, they finished our house for Gwemi about 1987. Uh -huh. So fella must have been 50. 50 years old. I never knew my father as a rich man. And they tell everybody, say, my father don't get money now. Sonny and they get money. Then Ebenezer obey. She not Peters. Uh, you know. Now those guys get money. Fella never had money. My papa with me, I know. He never had money. We were ghetto fab. Ghetto fab, bro. And I'm used to it. I love that life. My papa, once I can buy the things I want, do the things I like, go where I like, I don't need much. And they tell you now. So that's why I cannot be controlled. That people with the long throat, long throat. You want everything. You need everything. I'm ghetto fab, bro. Like the Chief Tunubu people. Ghetto fab. All day, all every, all day, all night, 24/7, 365. Uh -huh. Ghetto fab. We know they hide down. Ghetto fab. <laughs> that, that, that is we know they hide down. We don't shave. That, that's the oh, failure. I don't even in my dad's house. I wish. That's the failure life. Wish. You see my dread. So now. Get to back to this whole history lesson of Lagos. Rastafaria. The old Africa is no more. Rastafaria. Lagos is a very famous place for the world. Anywhere you go for this world, people know the city of Lagos. Yes. Nobody outside of us they call this place a coup. I repeat, nobody outside of us. A coup. Uh, language. We, 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 they call this place a coup. Lagos, the name of Portuguese. Is Lagos. Portuguese. Okay. From here to Timbuktu to Sydney to uh, Bangladesh, back to Alaska to Peru, Brazil, Chile, in South Africa. Yeah. Brothers and sisters, Lagos, now they call them. Nobody they call them Eko. And I will tell you why. Because Europeans have renamed the world. They have recreated the world in their image. They are from Portuguese now, Lagos. The Lagos. world has been recreated the Portuguese in the language. image of Europeans. So you must understand that fact. Stop living in the past that no longer exists. That's, that's some nostalgia 
Yeah, that's nostalgia. Nostalgia. It is not reality. It is not reality, bro. And all they did, what you say? Yeah, that was it. Uh, say, you know, uh, maybe you can take them back now, it's not their own. They never gave it back. What they need to take it back? It's still their own. They own majority of the money, the businesses, the top oil companies in your country. Are they Nigerian? The top telecommunications company in your country. Are they Nigerian? My brother, you know, that is why I told you. We've been telling you guys to march with Yoruba people. Let us collect our land. Yoruba nation is the answer. Is the answer. All this one Nigeria, all this political one Nigeria you, you are doing is wrong. It's totally nonsense. It cannot feed you anything. It cannot yield any profit for you. That is why we've been preaching. Let's come together. Let's be in one unit and raise our flag. Yoruba nation. Let Yibo go their way. Let Awusa go their way. There's nothing called Nigeria. Now you are seeing the thing. You are seeing the picture now. Eh? This is the same thing we are talking. This is the same thing. This Nigeria has never existed before. It's only Oibo and it's their, their plantation where they are uh, putting crops, germ germinating uh, uh, sugarcane, uh, beans, uh, maize, you know, all sorts of things like that. So Nigeria is kind of a, a, a place of business for them, for Igbo people. It's a joint where they, 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 they heat you know, their crops. They plant their crops, they sell one, they heat one. So this is open, you know, uh, subject. To, it should be open subject to you guys to learn from it. We are telling you not that we are just uh, cooking something up, we are just making it up, you know. It is what we experience, our own experience and our own uh, thinking. We know Nigerians cannot work, but you people, you are just going wrong direction. You are going uh, a, a, rough, a rough lane. So I will, I will correct you, Shil. Come back to your bad nation. Let's do it. You can do it. If you uh, like you people now, you are campaigning for your urban nation now, and some uh, other people like uh, those uh, uh, our celebrities, our all this uh, industry, Nollywood industry, they come back home. We do it together. So we form the group. We form the group of Yoruba, and we say no more Nigeria. We dismantle it. You know, we disorganize it. We exist ourselves from Nigeria. It will be better. So all kind of uh, name they are giving uh, our seaport, our airport, you know, our area, our street, like Abat Macaulay, uh, Tom Jones, uh, uh, what was it, Queen Elizabeth, uh, Victoria Land. Those ones will not be there. We will remove everything, and we be we 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 be we be uh, your bad name. We we'll be answering your bad name, at as it is before. You know, many decades ago, it was our name we restored there, not uh, Victoria Land, not uh, uh, Macaulay, Abad Macaulay, uh, uh, Mongo, Mongo Park, or uh, Log Lugard, you know. Those things, we remove it totally, you know, and we put our name there. And we will be uh, our own uh, indigenous, you know. It will be our, 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 our nation, you know. If you come over here now, Japan, they don't. There's no nothing called uh, Victoria on their street, or uh, maybe their seaport. They name it uh, Abat Macaulay or Lord Lugard, and as well as China, as I know, even Korea, they never mention all this kind of Oibo name on their street. They never mention any Oibo name. All these white people, these Westerners, they never name them on their street or their seaport or their anything it is their name they are bearing so why can't we do the same to wake up from our our sleep we are telling you people you are you are still young people you know you are under 40 or maybe above 40 a little bit you know it is sweet that we see it through and we are teaching you people to grab from it you have to learn from the people who knows not that we be just like uh, 
uh, buffoon or somebody that is loose, you know, some uh, impersonal people that they don't know right from the left, you know. So it's, you are part of them. If you are doing one Nigeria, you are contesting an election, or you say you have a group in Nigeria, you are just a part of them unless you come home. Until you come home and uh, we make it together. It's only your bad nation can do it. Your bad nation. So when we grab our nation back, uh -huh, so we will be ruling it. We will be ruling it according to ourselves, you know, according to our idea. You know, we put more idea and we, we start working with our intellectual. We, but we have uh, human resources and we have uh, uh, natural resources. We have everything there. Everything has been, have been planted there by, by, by God, uh, uh, this thing, you know, doing. So we just need to manage uh, what we have, our resources. And with our brain, we can work things out. We can be great. We can be great nation, Yoruba nation, or how to do a nation. So this one Nigeria cannot solve everything. Even if you put Jesus to come and rule Nigeria, it cannot work. It cannot work because ethnic city, you know, this ethnic city is there. You cannot let it work. We don't. We don't hear ourselves. We are not the same culture. You see, ethnic uh, bigotting. We cannot. It cannot work. We will just have a, a many problem all the time. We will be having problem of ethnic city, a problem of land. We have everything problem, unless we let it work by ourselves. Unless we let it work by ourselves. It is true that we can do it and to our power, our, uh, our spirit, you know. Everything we can work it out by ourselves, not with uh, another tribe. So, go on. The top food industries in your country are they Nigerian? Never, they only put, they, there's a law that all these people they must get local person as chairman. A local must be the chairman. A Nigerian must be the chairman. Many say the elites negotiate their own share for their family. They use your blood, our fight for independence, to negotiate share for themselves inside the stealing. Say, as long as one of us be chairman, so we can appoint our family self can chop inside. Yeah, you know that. You, you think it's a Nigerian company? The way you go to school, then they teach you Oyibo, Oyibo yeah. mentality. They go say, European mentality. They go say your language is a vernacular, you know? It's a. Is a vernacular. Is prohibited, you know, uh, not prohibited. Abi. They say your language is prohibited. It's a vernacular. And they say this, uh, their language, that uh, English is uh, uh, not prohibited. You know, so they will just they will just turn your brain because when they know the system, they know what they are doing. They just want to convince you. They want to make your brain to be. To be spreading, you know, and you will, not, you will not focus. Your whole language, they will throw it on the garbage, say, Falakula, don't speak it. But they are the English they introduce, they will say, that one is original. That's how they will, they, 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 they capture you, you know. They make you slave. And they introduce their uh, religions, and your own religion, they garbage it. You see, that is the life, because you accepted it. You are the one to blame. We are the one to blame for it because we accepted, we adopt their uh, 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 this their language, their religions. You know, if we reject it in the first place, they cannot do anything for us. You know, they cannot do anything if you reject it. It's okay, no, this is our own. We are contented with it. You know, it's our own from our father, our forefather. So we are okay with it. So take your own and go and. Uh, eat it or shove it in your house. But we accepted their their culture, their religions. And now it's affecting us. So who are we to blame? It is we. It is we we cause it. We cause it this uh, problem to our life. Because we let them tune our brain. They tune it up to the upside down, you know. They are fingering our brain. Up to now they are still doing it. And some gullible people, they will say, hey, they are one Nigeria, they cannot depart. They can... Who the hell are you people? You need to wake up, wake up, wake up from a slumber. Inside school, but because the school is owned by Nigeria, in Nigeria, 
they will say it's a Nigerian school. There's nothing Nigerian or African about our schools. They are all European. How about the banks? Because, is it because your bank is owned by a Nigerian? You think your bank is Nigerian? It's not a Nigerian bank. That institution is European. Sorry, guys. Give you loan as a black man for here. Now the way they, they give any black man loan for the same bank anywhere in the world. Exactly. It doesn't matter who owns the bank. It is the institution, the institutionalization of the financing. But you know they see that they don't, put, uh, they don't put faith for that. I don't even put all these they are black puppets. Bank is a is a is an institution of corruption. To buy their drink, yeah, they steal it. They steal it. But they say I own own the drink. It doesn't own shit. It's their money. They still stealing it. Where you want to see distillery? Where you want to see money build distillery? You want to make it wreck? Huh. Where you want you want kill them? It's branding. They put their face. They give them a share. The owners are still white Europeans in yeah. the background. The only way you can know is go and look at the board of directors of the company, the shareholders. When Jay Z was going to. Uh, when they were going to use Jay-Z to gentrify the whole of Brooklyn in America yeah. to build stadium for the Brooklyn net. That's what they like to black people saying that like Jay-Z get the <laughs> Jay-Z get the basketball team. Oh, they, Jay -Z, basketball, oh, they, when they pursue all the black people finish build them, they realize that Jay-Z only owned 0.06% of the Brooklyn net, which later sold for $1.6 million. That means he sold out his people for $1.6 million. Mm -hmm. They move out all the thousands it's of black people out of their neighborhood. Look at the old Brooklyn now. I don't know if you go to anybody to go to America here. It's all white. Williamsburg to Clinton Hill. White. Yeah, white people there now. Gentrification has happened. They like will use you and drop you like a trash. Some white. Some like white. I can squeeze a bad bro. Before you know now, by the time I'm 45, everywhere will be, <laughs> everywhere will be white. <laughs> That's what gentrification be. I know they see the gentrification don't start by them. They're small, 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 small. I know they see some kind of gentrification. Yeah, one white, don't they call? Two white, don't they call? You know what? You know what? You know. You see about, you see my own too. Now you do. But now be muku. You have to go get old, man. But you will maintain it. Just make you it uh, as a gentleman. For Europeans, yeah. institutions to survive. You are yet dying to to keep European institutions going. What is Nigeria? That is all the topic. That's why I tell you, people, you are not fans of What is the meaning of Nigeria in the first I place? I said it my father. I said it my full chest. Yeah. When a person like that born you, you are one of the luckiest people in the world. And you do yourself a great disservice to let people use their mouth to let you diminish your own heritage. You see, yeah. Not be my fault, eh? When I look at the kind of power I get. Not my fault. But the fact that I don't get that kind of papa, I yeah, can never yeah, be correct, So I'll huh? tell you one million times. Yeah, bro, I, I can boast. Because me, I grew up as Fela I can boast with so you. So I know there's no love there. My last couple, your papa, I'm correct. The thing where they talk, they happen. Whether they like it or they happen. Now, correct, because man. Because they don't touch you at that time. They don't want to touch more people. Poverty rate, what Fela did alive, that 30%. Now it's over 70, 80%. Fela, I'm correct. 100% so correct, man. They talk, like man. Win, una, they they talk with the God give you. Prophet, prophets. Now those kind of things, none of you make Africa move forward. The lies, fell out of the prophets. But the things when they talk, when they affect you at that time, you know, affect you at they stay for Surulere. Yeah. Poverty never reached Surulere. It never reached Yaba. It never reached Antoni. It never reached Maryland. It never reached Keja. Poverty is still there for the uh, fringes of Lagos. Yeah. My property day. And some neighborhoods like Mushi, like Adege. Are you why you don't wonder why do the big men of this country want to walk and live in VI and Koyi? When we say that colonialists now in and fill the whole VI and they build up for themselves, Victoria's Island. Uh -huh. now that's, where I'm, that's where I'm going. Victoria and your mama. Uh -huh. No be your mama now. No be your Victoria and your auntie, you be Victoria and your wife. Who be Victoria? I be about my calling and your papa. Now they stay for Victoria Island. Tom just now your papa. They won't go stay there on the park themselves to be near white now, white people. That is where I'm going. Well, that is my point. point. You see what I say? This Let's change all these bastard things. You know, all these bastard things. How can we not learn in our secondary and primary school? Life on. That is why I'm talking about all these white 
uh, supremacy things in our land. Let's remove it. Because in the, in, the, in the sense that if you are still hearing their name, it will be ringing those stones. It will be ringing your hair, you know. Those rubbish stones, you know. The tone of uh, uh, slavery, you know, slave master. It will be ringing. It will not forget it until you remove their logo, remove everything from their line uh, over there. If you don't start doing that, that means you are still in cage. You are still in a colonial master, their, their slavery, uh, uh, sl sl slavery stuff, you know. Until we get out of that place, or we get out of from their, their dungeon. Because we are still in their cage. That is why they can write or they can do anything, you know, telling you, you that uh, they, they implant uh, stupid uh, somebody as your leader. All these fools, you know, this imbecile. These buffoons, feed maros, they will be implanting it on you. They will be putting it on your head. Say you must accept it. Those criminals, criminals, uh, leaders. You know, look at how they cannot conduct an election, ordinary election, with the beaver, with the uh, RF, wherever. They cannot still conduct it. You know, in in, in a honest honest man, manner. They are still cheating. Koro Koro, Koro Koro is cheating. This Ibeck, Mahmoud, you know, all these people, they, they are not a human being. Huh? When somebody is full of lie, he will be cheating. He, he, he's, a, he's a thief. That is a logo. He's full of lies. He cannot even respect his own words, you know. He cannot keep to his own rule, to his own words. He will say A today, tomorrow B, tomorrow C. Next, he will say D, uh, E, F, D, Z. We don't know where he belongs, where he stay. You know? It's just causing commotion now, causing trouble. They don't even believe in uh, our constitution. They don't believe in, in uh, uh, no, uh, our, our uh, legislator, uh, this thing, our rules, our laws. They don't believe. They are just causing nuisance, constituting nuisance every day. You know, the judge will rule. They will overturn it by themselves. They will say, who are you to tell me to what to do? Because they, are, they, 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 they give them the power to generate. You know? That is what is angry us, our, we youth. We don't want all these criminals to be ruling us again. We don't want them as a leader. Because they are stupid people. They are not our leader. They are not good to be leader. They cannot help the leadership things. You know? Somebody that they don't have integrity, you know? They don't have integrity. How can they be your leader? You know? They, are not, they don't have integrity. Superiority they don't have. They are not fidelity. So how can you call those one, all those bunch of criminals your leader? How can you respect them? Remember, they it's only themselves. They know. They only themselves. Myself, myself, consuming everything that is belong to everybody. Eh? Bunch of thieves. How can you respect? How can you respect them? How can you give them the respect? Whereby they too, they don't. They are not. They are not. They, they are not. Uh, you know. They don't deserve respect. They don't deserve any respect. No integrity. You know? Now you are telling me uh, I should call them uh, my leader, uh, my headers. My headers, my food. I cannot call all this criminal, all this bunch of criminal, my headers. Never. All those uh, political criminals. God will take you out one by one in Jesus' name. Because you are. You are doing all sorts of evils to minority people in, Niger in that uh, Nigeria. You are, you are causing a, a, a traumatized. You are causing a problem to their life. You are causing miserable to their life. You are constituting nuisance to their life. You see all this, our celebrity, they are turned to Olosho uh, Ukop. They are doing Ukop job. 
they, they cannot even boast of their future. Even both uh, men, women, eh? both women and men, they are just nuisance. Everything about money, they can open their yash for money. They do work up. So uh, they, they, they do anything, ritual, ritualist, kidnapping. You are the headers that is cause all those madness. You headers, you, you call yourself elite. You are the one, uppers everywhere. Obas, uh, 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 chief, uh, president, governor, you are all a bunch of thieves. You are the one causing this problem. You are the one, not a uh, uh, youth. Because if the youth, they have their way, everything will be peaceful. Like this country now, they are taking care of their youth. They are taking care of their, their citizens. If you have a plan for them, if you have a plan, there won't be any... Any, any nonsense. There won't be any any criminals. It, even it can be, but it will be little. It will be little that you can control. But all over the whole places now, there is a bunch of criminals. They are just looking for money. Anything, money, 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 money. Which way it goes. Where we are, it goes. This, you know, it goes. You know? Doing who cop. Yeah? Doing who cop. Our celebrities, they are just doing nonsense. Do a fake fake life. They will do fake life. Something that is they don't acquire. They will be say, ah, I am the I build this, I build that. You see, that's a fake, fake life. Fake life. It's all over everywhere. You cannot know who to trust again. Even you can't you can't trust your, your brothers. Because for, for us to appreciate where we what did they have me, we should know what our parents were our this happened to 1950. Now 1960s stopped. This is not 1860. It's not 1760. Colonialism stopped in 1960. Just here. 1960. 1960. There are people still alive that lived in it. Our as our grandfather has made a pass. We need to get past to enter BI. Because we are savages. We don't think they near or you go. We pick some of them. All these, they are prominent Yoruba. What do they make now? It's all these lawyers, first lawyer, first doctor. They pick them, they pick them. They are part of them for BI too. You saw them be enter. They were the civilized blacks. Very happy. You understand? Oh, they are cool. You let them near them. So they will go to let them near. They special pass their other brothers. Yeah. When we both keep far, the multitude, the so called masses. Where we both push far. Yeah. So they were willing to keep that system going because it put them above their own people. That's why I laugh at Nigerians when they turn themselves to the property of these people in the name of election. You are ratified. I'm articulate. I'm obedient. <laughs> you do not become part of your leader. If your leader is truly for the people, are, it becomes part of you. They are just like a, part of you. They are just like you animals. Yourself, right? concept, I say, all of you have become part of one person. I am a partified. I am articulate. I am a vivian. But you two, uh, you are you are supporting some group, you know? you know? You are part of all those people that believe in one Nigeria. We are saying no one no one Nigeria. No one Nigeria is is meaningless. It's not country, it's not nation, it's not anything. They just name you just to 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 put the logo that you are uh, uh, the, you you are uh, under colonialism, you know, you are still a slave a slave. Slave is that that is what they call Nigeria. Nigeria is a slave. That is the meaning, you know. If they call you Nigeria, you accept. That means you are a slave, and you will be slave forever until you come out that one Nigeria, until that you remove that one Nigeria from your name. That is. You don't. You are no longer a slave. But you, in as much as you are still bearing one Nigeria, you are a slave entirely, totally. And that is dumb for you. My brother, my viewers, I thank you. So I will, I will close the the uh, program now. So till next time, yeah, I say God will bless you. God will be with you, and answer to your prayer. So you will be blessed for the rest of your life. So happy weekend bye for now thank you please share my program or share just share it timo starboy reality talk tv on uh, youtube 
yeah, on YouTube, Timo Star Boy Reality Talk TV, on a, uh, Facebook, Timo Star Boy Channel Blogs, on Twitter, Timo Oladipopo One. Thank you. Have a lovely day. Bye.